Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, we are in October. We uh, have changed a couple of things since I last left you guys. Uh, we used to have around $15,000 or so. Um, I went and picked up this water trailer because as you probably saw on the thumbnail and you can see up there we picked up a greenhouse. Um, I was just thinking that, you know, with us only having the two fields, uh, every little bit of extra income will help. So we picked up this greenhouse and we've got some tomatoes set to grow and store. Uh, let's just go into here, our productions real quick. Uh, where is our productions? Right here. So we're, we're going with tomatoes, and uh, we actually put the greenhouse up in September. I just, after the end of the last episode that I recorded for you all, I, uh, I spent a couple of hours just kind of looking around, thinking about some things, and I decided we were going to buy some, uh, buy a greenhouse, buy a water trailer. So we got tomatoes growing, and... Uh, Nothing spawned yet, of course. We just we, we we don't have a full pallet full, but I decided, you know what, we put up a greenhouse. We can do that year round. It'll give us something to do in the winter time when things are a little bit slow, and uh, hopefully between looking after the pigs and looking after the greenhouse, it'll like I said, give us some stuff to do in the winter time. Now. Uh, one thing that I have noticed is our pigs, the health is not going up on our pigs. And I think that's because when we go in here, I've got all sorts of crazy mods that I'm using right now. And um, this here, it's, it's broken down into all the different kinds of food that, that they need in order to function properly and to grow properly and to be as healthy as possible. And this base food, I don't even know what the heck the base food is, to be honest with you, but <laughs> we have to figure out what the base food is uh, to go along with, like we, we put some wheat in here. So we've gotta, we've gotta come up with a good mix to get their effectiveness up, uh, you know, so that their health will We'll, we'll grow because we're only getting 25 percent which means it's going to take four times longer for their health to start growing than if they had all of this stuff so i'll need to do a little bit of digging we'll need to figure out what the heck the base food is and because i know i can probably buy all this stuff but as you can see we don't have a lot of money so we can't be running around buying stuff we need to figure out what it is and if uh, we have the means to make it, come on door, close. Oh, there we go. Finally found the trigger. Uh, so yeah, we've got to get that sorted out because we need their health to start going up so that they can get ready to start reproducing. Uh, but what we're going to do today, uh, our grass is starting to grow again. Oh, it's actually sh shows ready to harvest. I don't think, yeah, look at the, the yield there. It's only 59%. So we're going to let it grow a little more so it'll get longer. We can get a better yield. But when we last left off, we had just picked up this roller and we were going to roll our big wheat field here and uh, get rid of all these pesky rocks. So let's get in the tractor here and we'll get into the field and we'll we'll do some rolling in here today and we'll get this field all cleaned up get all these stones off of here and uh and we'll kind of go from there um i would definitely like to hear from you guys about what crop we want to put in this field um I'm kind of leaning towards going back for canola or, um, you know, maybe there's some new crops that have come in through some of the mods that I've downloaded. So there might be some, some other cool stuff that we can look at getting. Um, I think I'm discovering that 
this roller is not pushing down all the stones. I think some of these stones are too big. Because I think some of the stuff is pushed down, but... Ay, ay, ay. I mean, rolling the ground is always a good thing anyways. It does increase your yield, so it's not a bad thing that we picked up the roller, but uh, the key factor for me picking up the roller was so that we could get rid of the stones. So if we're not going to be getting rid of the stones, then this might be a little bit, uh, a little bit of an issue. All right, let's uh, let's do one more pass and see what happens here. It'd be really nice to. I guess I can do this and look out the window and see if any of them are disappearing. It doesn't look like any of them are going away at all. So I think either these are all too big, or we just have an issue where. Uh, this roller is not pushing the stones back down into the dirt. Which would be a bloody shame. Uh, well, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to... We're going to finish this up. We're going to do the rolling. Because as I said, it's not... It's not a bad thing. But we may have to end up going and either leasing a rock picker. Or uh, the other option that we have is we could always grab a bucket for our front end loader and just <laughs> run through this whole damn field and uh, scoop up all the rocks but that would probably take an entire month of work to do so I don't know we'll we'll, we'll get it sorted out but what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll get to work on this and we'll see what we decide when we decide it all right, folks, welcome back. That was uh, quite the adventure. <laughs> uh, I decided to jump cut it because it took a long, long, long time to do. Um, and as I said, uh, the stones definitely uh, not gone, so we're going to have to mess with those. Um, yeah, and I decided I was driving me bonkers. I was I was doing headlands, and I was like, all my lines were all over the bloody place, and I'm like, nope, can't do it, driving me nuts. So <laughs> after a headland or two, I was like, and that's why it took so long, is I essentially restarted, and I was doing back and forth all to keep everything in a line, because, you know, I'm crazy like that. So, um let's go park this roller and we'll get it put away and I want to go check on the greenhouse really quick just to see how much production we've had happen um, tomatoes are not the most expensive crop you can you can grow but uh, with the number of cycles it has in a month, I'm hoping that it'll be comparable to the lettuce. So I just want to go take a quick run over here and take a look at what we've got in the time that we've had the, uh, the greenhouse running. So we've got a full pallet and we're halfway to the next one. So that's pretty good. Um, I can't remember. No, we can't pick this pallet up. It's just too much. 400 kilograms. How's our water looking? Ooh, we're going to have to do another water run as well. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we'll hook up to the trailer. We'll do a quick water run to fill the greenhouse back up. And... Um, I think after we're done that, I want to check the price on silage because I did take a look over in our uh, bale storage and it looks like our grass bales have turned to silage. We're not quite far enough back yet. There we go. So let's see here. 
Yeah, so we've got our 52 bales of grass it turned into silage. So let's take a look and see what silage is selling for right now. Uh, silage, silage. Probably further up. Yeah, okay, where is it? Where is it? So silage is selling for around $300 per thousand liters. So each bale should get us about a thousand bucks, which is nice. Like that's, that's a boatload of money. Um, but what I realize is we have no trailer to put. Oh, I guess we've got our bail trailer. What am I talking about? We have a trailer we can load it up on and go sell it. So I think maybe that's something that we'll try and do today as well is we'll, we'll get the bail trailer and we'll uh, we'll try and bring out some some silage bales and uh, go sell off some of those. We've got a little bit of money because we desperately need some money. There's some uh, some stuff I'd love to do around the farm that uh, is going to take a little bit a little bit of cash. So we're going to start this filling and we'll go out here and role play it up. Turn on the pump. Get the water coming in. All right, let's get this water over to the greenhouse here, and then we'll come back and we'll start working on figuring out how we're going to get that silage back onto the bale trailer. Thinking about it now, I think we won't, in the future, put our silage bales into that uh, loft, because when they come out, they kind of come out in an awkward little spot that's a pain in the ass to get to, and it may make it hard for us to, um, to deal with going forward. So let's get out here and turn on the pump and fill the old greenhouse. Looking good, looking good. So I'm thinking that we might just leave this water trailer here instead of uh, leaving it by the river. I mean, it, or the lake there. It does kind of make sense to leave it by the lake because that's where we fill it, but I think leaving it over here is, uh, is okay for now. Okay, so let's go over here. We're going to grab that bale trailer. I'm going to try and get some of the silage bales out of the loft and just see where they stack. I know I've pulled one out at a time before, and they kind of go into an awkward corner. And because of the way that our bale trailer works, this may be a bad thing. Like, we may have to get those bales... Because what they'll do is when we pull them out, they spawn, like, right here. And when I take that trailer and come in here to pick it up, the trailer's gonna be in the zone where you drop it off, and I just don't know if it's gonna shove it right back into the into the loft. I guess we'll experiment and see, but fingers crossed we can get uh, we can get our bales out of here and run them over to go sell a few of them. We might end up selling all of them. I don't know. We'll kind of play it by ear. It would just be nice to have a little bit of money to play with. And we do have um, the grass is ready to cut again. It doesn't have all the yield that I'd like, but we can always make more silage if we have to. So I have no problem with selling off all the silage that we've got. But let's get this trailer spun around, get back into the yard here, and see how this is going to work. So the nice thing is, is that our pickup is on this side. And the bales end up coming out up there. So let's just, we're going to give it a try. We're going to get one silage bale out. And just see how this works. So there it is. Let's try this. I don't know what would happen if I told it to bring out all 24 silage bales where it's going to stick it. Oh 
Okay, so that's that's a good thing. It picked it up and put it on the trailer. So let's uh, let's experiment. Let's bring out five. Let's see what it does. So they're all in a row right there. This this could be a disaster, folks. Oh, it did not roll back into the zone, so that's a good thing. Oh, we might get lucky here. I know that if you don't tell the trader to unload that it doesn't uh, it doesn't drop them into the loft. I was worried about when that uh, when the arm grabbed it that it might cause problems. But so far, things are looking good. So if we can do like do we get brave and try 10 it's going to be 5 stacks I think that will be pushed in a little bit too much we'll go for 6 6 I think because we have to drive forward enough to get the lifter to engage and we've got the, the barn right in front of us or the shed right in front of us which is going to make it difficult so we're going to see if we can get lucky here. Get all six of these up. Oh, it looks like it's a good thing. We should be able to get some, some silage sold off. Nice. So we got room for 12 more bales. 3, 6, 9, 12. Yep, this trailer will hold 24. So let's go 6 more. And do two, two groups of 6. And that one just auto-loaded <laughs> the first two. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Beautiful. I didn't think this was going to work as easily as it as it has been, so I'm very, very, very happy with this. Six more, and we're on our way to the cell point. Now, the other thing that I don't know... Uh, about the pigsty, I was kind of mentioning it the last time, uh, the last episode there, was what the capacity maximums are for the slurry and the manure. I don't know what those are. I mean, I can kind of roughly guesstimate by looking at our capacities when we're over at the, uh, at the pigsty, but... Okay, let's pick this arm up. And let's get spun around. And then we'll figure out where we need to take these uh, uh, silage bales to. But, yeah, as I was saying, I don't know what the capacities are. But I think that when we make this sale of the silage, we need to look at uh, potentially getting a spreader tank. Because we're going to have all the silage that or the silage, the slurry that uh, we can use for fertilizer. And like I said, it's just here it doesn't tell you, it just says we've got 213 liters, but it doesn't tell you a capacity. And I don't know if when we go in here, does it, yeah, that doesn't tell us right here. It just tells us a capacity again. You know that we've got the slurry and we've got manure but it doesn't tell us how much that pigsty will hold before it starts becoming a problem but I definitely think that um, we should look into getting ourselves uh, a spreader so we're gonna mark the animal dealer because that's where we're gonna go Where's this one? This one's actually a better place. I just figured that that might be um, 
I thought it might be a train station or something, but no, it's the biogas spot down here. So we'll come down here, sell off our bales, make some money, and then let's take a look at... It's not going to be under animals for the slurry, is it? No, I figure that... Oh, there it is. Slurry tanks, right under slurry. Okay, so is that both... I don't know what the symbol for the manure is. Fertilize your field with slurry, okay. I just don't know what that other symbol is. Um, let's go on to here really quick and see if we can find that other symbol. So well, slurry is this one. Digestate, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, and one other thing I wanted to look at, we were talking about, is when it comes to the food for pigs that, uh, that full food that the pigs need. Like I said, I don't know what that is. I'm just going to look and see if I can find where anything to do with pig food might be. It's probably in the, uh, in the big bags. It would just be nice to know what is considered like this is perfectly balanced food, which is cool. I just it would be nice to know what the heck is in it. You know what I mean? But I think what I might do is I might grab some of this, maybe a couple bags of it, just so that we can put some in there so our pigs can start growing properly. So we'll do this. And we're going to go sell our silage. That'll make us a bunch of money. And then we'll come back, grab the tractor with the front end loader. Or you know what? I wonder if that tractor with the front end loader can haul this trailer. It's a pretty heavy trailer. But let's give it a try. Because then we can grab our food bags and bring them back with us when we're done. Make Save ourselves a trip. We'll just grab our uh, pallet fork there, and we'll use that to grab the bags. Perfect. Lift this up. And we'll just point these suckers down to the ground so we're not going to run into anybody with our forks. <laughs> Alright, let's get over to the silage sale spot. Fingers crossed, this thing will pull this trailer. It is a heavy trailer. What are we running over? Why did my... I hit the Q button and detached my forks. Hi, Karumba. Uh, let's go to here. How are these forks looking? We're pretty close to being lined up on them. We'll just give them a little shove. <laughs> I don't know why it's not attaching. Maybe because I'm not down low enough? What in the world is going on here? Oh, Jesus. You don't have the uh, face of the tool facing the pallet forks. <laughs> it's kind of hard for it to attach. Okay. Let's see if we can get going and get to where we need to sell our damn... Uh, silage. That was the fun part, getting out of this tight little yard with all this stuff on the back. And we made it. Whew. That was quite the adventure. 
I didn't even realize that I had detached my forks there. That's crazy. Let's get that spread out. Must have rained overnight and got some standing water out here on the driveway. Okay, this is going to take a little bit to get around this corner. Drive into the oncoming traffic. Beautiful. We're on the way. Alright, well, you guys have watched me fumble around long enough with trying to get this situation going, so I will do a nice little jump cut and we'll bring you back when we're at the biogas station and we're ready to sell off our bales and see how much money we can make. see that we're trying to get up the hill <laughs> oh this tractor struggled to get up a few of those hills it's uh, pretty wild oh there's our cell point right there got a nice little loft as well so we'll go drop the silage in there and make ourselves some money it's gonna be nice I, I hope I did that calculation right I think these were 3,000 liter bales which should get us said around a thousand dollars a bale this will be twenty four thousand for this run and then we can go back and get some more bales and uh, bring our cash up because I definitely would like to get that slurry uh, tanker for spreading that for our fertilizer uh, okay so we're gonna get ready for an offload looks like these guys take all kinds of bales not just uh, silage that's nice Oh yeah, look at all the money rolling in from these bales. Beautiful. Woo, we got like 30,000 bucks from that. Well, I'm glad my math was wrong to the good. <laughs> that is amazing. Lots of good money. Um, one other thing that I was going to show you guys I kind of discovered it while I was running around on the map looking at some stuff um, I was not aware but there are collectibles on this map and I don't know how much money you get from picking them up I know some maps are as high as like fifty thousand dollars for a collectible and some are as low as like a thousand dollars for a collectible um, I did find one on our farm it's over by our little uh, our little pond there and so I was thinking in this episode we'll grab that collectible so that we can see how much of a reward they are and um, I just wanted some input from any of you who are watching uh, what kind of a limit we should set like if I grab that collectible and it's a $50,000 collectible like that's gonna totally throw the balance of everything out to lunch so I don't think that we should keep a $50,000 input into our bank account from a collectible uh, so my thought is like do we cap it at saying you know the most money we can take for a collectible is like 1,000, 5,000, like, what are, what are your guys' thoughts on what you think is appropriate? 
because I know like this isn't this isn't a challenge map per se where we're trying to survive and against all odds and all that kind of stuff so I know it's not it's not like it's breaking the game really bad because um, it's not a survival challenge it's not a fight to make money challenge we're just playing we're having fun but at the same point I don't want to make it so that you know we're finding collectibles and running around with two million dollars in the bank like I, I do want it to be a little bit challenging even though it's not a survival challenge uh, we can't see so we need to lower that pig food <laughs> so give me some of your thoughts some input on if you think we should limit the amount of money that we can keep from the collectibles whether we should pick them up at all um, we are going to pick up the one that's on our farm just so that you can all see how much money comes from a collectible and therefore make a informed decision about whether you think we should keep looking for collectibles or not necessarily looking for them but if we if we spot them we don't have to be afraid about picking them up you know just uh, get a little bit of input from you guys on what you think we should do cuz i've never in any of my series that I've played, I've never even gone out and looked for collectibles. I've probably walked past thousands of them in all my time of playing and never spotted any because I, I can't even think of even when I'm not doing like a series when I'm just playing for fun on my own. Um, I can't think of a time when I ever picked up a collectible on any map that I've ever played. So. This could be uh, another one of those things that it's a new... Whoa! Did a car just run into me? What the hell's going on? Well, I caught the edge of the entryway with a tire. Okay, let's try and get away from that. Okay, now we're looking much better. So anyways, yeah, just uh, more stuff for you guys to give some input on, for us to figure out how we're going to approach it when we figure out how it affects the gameplay. So I can definitely tell you that if it's $50,000, I'm not going to be keeping $50,000 per, <laughs> per collectible we find, that's for sure. That's That would be game breaking in my mind. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? Well, we couldn't have done it anyways. I was going to say we were going to buy the slurry tanker, but we've got the uh, the bale trailer on the back, so we wouldn't have been able to bring the slurry trailer or the, yeah, the slurry trailer home with us anyway, so we'll get the pigs their food and by the time next episode uh, comes around, I'll have done a little bit of digging to see how that complete pig food is made and if it's something that we can do on our own at our farm but for now we're gonna give these boys uh oh that pig feed is just too dang heavy let's see if we can just drag the bags over here ay caramba I think they're draining. They are draining. This is good. Yes, sir. There they go. <laughs> so we'll see how they're doing now. They've got this uh, this proper pig food in here. So let's take a look. So that only took their base food up by a thousand liters. It did put some protein and some root crops in there, so that's good. So now that they have some of everything, they should be getting their health to grow quicker and everything should be ready to rock and roll for them a little bit quicker, which is good.
Okay, so we need to look at doing the slurry tank. We're just gonna drop off the front end loader trailer, our tractor, because we don't need it anymore. And we're gonna go grab the other one. Now, do we wanna sell off the rest of our silage bales? How many do we have left? We had 52. We've got 28 left. We want to take 24 of those guys over, sell them, and then buy that silage trailer after. I think, let's do this first. I talked about getting this collectible. Got to walk through the forest here. There we go. So right over here, there's a little drain that is bringing the water into our pond here. And there is this fancy dancy little bar here. It says of the three small farms in French. But let's see, we're at 29,000. So that was $50,000. So that's way too much. Um, so it says they've scattered gold bars and horseshoes all over the place. Keep an eye out, happy searching. Found gold bar number nine. It says more than nine to find. I don't know. I don't know how many are on this map. But that 50,000 is definitely way too much money. So um, I'll wait for your comments on what you think it should be at a maximum. But uh, if I don't hear anything, I'm probably going to take it down to like $5,000 for a collectible. Because uh, that's way way too much money <laughs> so i guess we won't worry about doing the silage bales right now because we do have some money in our account i was going to do them just to make sure we had enough to pick up I keep saying silage jesus um silage and slurry getting my eshes confused um we're gonna go pick up that slurry tank so that we have one. Since we have pigs, we may as well take advantage of the slurry that we have and get a spreader. So now, for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, so we don't overspend, I'm going to remove that 50000 that we just got for that collectible. Just, I don't want to overspend, because I see the money, I'm going to go, ooh, and I'm going to buy stuff. Um, we do have a fertilizer spreader, but instead of having to buy fertilizer, we can use our slurry, and we can fertilize our land for free. So it just makes sense to do this, right? So I think we'll end up picking up this guy. And... Um, We'll put it to put it to good use using our slurry for fertilizer on our own stuff. And we'll use our solid fertilizer sprayer when we don't have enough slurry. Or if we're doing contracts, we're not going to give people our good fertilizer. We'll give them the garbage fertilizer. So we're doing it. It's done. Purchase has been made. Um, you know what we're going to need is... Another little, uh, another little shed. Um, let's take a look around our property because I don't even know if we have room that we could put a shed. We've got this little pasture for the pigs. We put our greenhouse in the one little spot that we did have. I mean, I guess right here we could look at putting a shed up. I don't know if we actually even own that land. Let's just do a test. I'm not going to spend any money, but just... I want to see if it says, so not enough money, of course. Let's go to something really cheap that we can put down just so that we can see. Yeah, so we are allowed to build on here. So that's a, that's a good thing. I just wasn't sure if we own this or not, because this is not our land, right? This is, this is our chunk of field, but this is not our land. So I don't know why it's saying that I can build there. I guess it's saying I can build pretty much anywhere. Interesting. 
So something that we could maybe look at is um, when the time comes, if we have a, a full drive-through shed over there, you know, like something something like this, that we could stick off to the side so that we're not disrupting the road, but we'd have enough room to uh, put a couple implements in there, you know, like maybe get the water tanker over here, get the roller over here, you know, stuff like that. We can sort that all out, but uh, at least it's something to, to think about. Because we're definitely going to need more storage. We're already starting to run out of room to, to put stuff. Um, and one other thing that I completely keep forgetting about is we've still got rocks on our field. We need to get those... Well, they, they, they say stones, but... Those are not stones. Those are huge. <laughs> those are rocks. We need to get those picked up and off of our field over there. So um, let's grab the, uh, the slurry tank and we'll bring it back. But I think that we need to look at uh, what there are for stone pickers. And it might be as easy as, like I said, grabbing, you know, grabbing a bucket for the front end loader and getting, uh, getting all the rocks picked up. It'll take forever and a day, but it'll get the rocks picked up. I just don't know what the best solution is. I guess we can, once we're at the store and we pick up the, uh, the slurry tank, we can kind of take a look at what they have in stock, see what the prices are looking like, and uh, and see what our best option is. Because we also do have the option to lease to buy. So we could end up leasing ourselves a, uh, a rock picker so that we have a way to get that done. Just gonna get this back up. We'll spin around here and let's get into the store. So we're definitely gonna have to sell some more silage bales uh, to kind of bring our balance back up. But I just want to look at stone stuff, stone pickers. Okay. Now, I hate these little units because they they offset to the side of your tractor and I can never get the damn things to line up and it, oh my god, it takes me forever and a day to do anything. Oh, this is a nice little tiny guy. Doesn't cost too much money, 14,000 bucks and uh, it's a direct pull behind. Holds 3,500, but you know what? How much does it cost to lease this guy? 714 bucks. We could do a lease to own. We could do a lease to own on this thing and uh, clean up our, our field. So yeah, you know what? We're gonna, we're just gonna lease it. And we're gonna, we're gonna lease to own this bad boy. But we're going to get our slurry tank home, and then we'll run back, we'll pick up our rock picker, and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. This is, this is going to be a first for me, folks. I've never in my life used or owned a slurry tanker in Farm Sim, so... This will be cool, something new. I'm super, I'm, I mean, I know it's farm sim, but I am super excited to try this out. I've never, never, ever done it before. Um, so it's kind of cool. That's what I love about, um, you know, this series and what we're doing here is it's just very, very relaxed, trying some new things, having a little bit of fun. You know, no, no pressures, no nothing, just, let her go. Sit back, relax, and lay some farm sim. So, 
let's uh, let's get this slurry tanker parked, and then what I'm going to do is, rather than make you guys drive back and forth between the store the six times we've been doing this, uh, we will do a little jump cut and we'll bring you back after we have done a couple things. I'm going to go and sell off the rest of the silage bales that we have. We've got 28 left in there, so I'll do a couple trips on that. And we will do um, a trip to pick up the, the stone picker as well. Because we need to get that back here to the old homestead. So let me get all this stuff done and I'll bring you guys back and we'll kind of see where we sit. So. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. All right, everybody. Welcome back once again. Uh, we are ready to rock and roll in our field. We have picked up our nice stone picker that we've got on lease. And as you can see in the upper right-hand corner from the money, we have sold off all of our silage bales. So we are sitting at uh, a pretty good spot. We've got our pigs. See, their health has gone up to 20% already from uh, just having all the proper food in there. So we're going to have to figure that out if we can make it ourselves. If not, I guess we'll just have to keep buying it for the time being. Um, oh, I thought I grabbed all the silage bales. There's a couple got left in there. All right. Well, we've got a couple more we can sell in the in the meantime when when the time is right. But uh, I was thinking that because we got that slurry tanker and slurry is going to uh, be very very handy to us. We've only got seven pigs on the farm. I think what I'm going to do is pick up some more. So I think we'll go for the little piglets here. Uh, and maybe we will grab 10 more of these guys. No, we've got lots of money. Let's grab 20 more of these guys. So that we can get a lot more slurry going on. Because um, we definitely, definitely need to have lots of slurry because we've got two really, really big fields. So we're going to do that. We are in a good spot, I think, and we're getting near the end of the day. It is October, so the sun's going to set fairly soon. You can see it's the shadows are starting to get long. So I think what we'll do is we'll wrap up today and we'll come back next time and we will see what we've got to do. I know we're definitely going to have grass to cut, which will make us a bunch more silage. Um, we're going to have stones to pick, and hopefully you guys will tell me what kind of crop you want to get in the ground, and we can start looking at that. We should have, hopefully, another pallet of tomatoes to sell by the next time that we see you. And with the money that we have, you know what, I'm thinking I might just pony up the dough right now, and we're going to throw a little shed up over here for us to... Uh, park some equipment in because we're we're kind of in we're in one of those spots where we need some more equipment um i just want to do a quick check because i don't think we actually own that land so if we don't own that land i'm not going to put a shed there yeah see it's right here we don't actually own that land i've already been bad i put a greenhouse here and we don't own that land either that's like generic land that's all the streets and all the uh all the roads and things like that that uh is worth nine and a half million dollars so <laughs> we won't put the shed there that would be bad uh unless we buy this field if we get this field and we have like everything here surrounded then i i would be okay putting a shed up so we'll wait for the shed for now um we'll just have to we'll have to get creative with where we where we store all of our stuff but anyways i was trying to wrap up the video and now i've talked for another five minutes so uh yeah so we're gonna we're gonna call it a day 
we're going to wrap up today's episode and hopefully next time we'll be able to do all of our stone picking maybe get some fertilizer put on that field over there uh, and if all goes well it'll be fertilizer from our own pigs we'll be trying out the the new slurry tank and see how that works i doubt we'll have enough but i want to try it out so bad so we'll do that and then we'll have grass to mow silage to bale and uh all that so lots and lots of stuff to do in the next episode so we're gonna hop in the house and we're gonna wrap it up for today so uh thank you for coming out hanging out with me and watching the video i hope that you enjoyed uh, i definitely had a blast making it for you and if you liked it definitely leave a like down below leave me some comments on all the stuff we talked about all the stuff we did today and uh we'll kind of go from there so uh with all that being said I hope we'll see you out on the next one. Take care, everybody.